Jan Anson, a researcher at Helmholtz Institute of Berlin for Materials and Energy. She will um, present us strategies for imp improving the properties of layer cathode materials for sodium ion batteries. Um, the stage is yours, Yanan. Whenever you're ready, please go ahead. Um, now you can see my slides. Everything looks perfect. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the introduction and uh, thanks for the nice organization by TechBlink. Um, I'm Yana Sun and I'm postdoc from Professor Philip Adhams group. Um, today I'm very glad to share our recent work on layered custom materials for sodium ion batteries. Uh, before the start of my talk, I would like to briefly introduce our group. Um, so we are a joint research group uh, for operational battery analysis uh, between uh, Humboldt University and uh, Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin. So we are located in Berlin, uh, Germany, and we, we are at the Technology Park Allershof. Uh, there is a map of our uh, institute, so we are also very close to Bessie 2 uh, Sigvitron. So maybe you, some of you, some of you know because uh, maybe you, you also do some like Sigvitron experiments. Uh, so our group is about uh, is a, a battery research group, and we mainly focus on the research on uh, sodium batteries and the lithium or sodium solid state batteries. So today my talk is, uh, is about the layered cathode materials in sodium ion batteries. Uh, first, I will give a brief in introduction on the background, and then I will provide some examples for the strategies to improve properties. In the end, I will summarize the conclusions and outlooks. So um, why, why we uh, started the sodium batteries? Um, as we all know, with increased number of electrical vehicles and uh, devices, the lithium demand is increasing. Uh, however, the global distribution um, of lithium cells is, is uneven. And also the elements related to lithium batteries is also lack of abundance, uh, like lithium or uh, cobalt. Um, but in contrast, the, the uh, elements related to sodium batteries batteries like sodium, iron, and manganese is much more abundant. So uh, it's always good to compare lithium and sodium because they are at the same row of the, uh, in the epidemic table. So the, the sodium and lithium have similar chemical, technological, and the performance properties. Um, so in this case, when we're developing the electron materials for sodium batteries, it's always good to get some inspiration from lithium batteries. Uh, but also uh, there are also some uh, Exceptions like uh, like graphite is a very successful anode material in lithium battery, but in sodium battery it can't can perform well with a pure um, intercalation reaction. Uh, but compared with lithium, sodium also have some advantages. That, uh, like uh, apart, apart from the abundance, um, also we can get rid of use of cobalt, like this uh, um, in, uh, element in, in the sodium batteries, so it's not toxic. So it goes to uh, when we goes to the current collector, so we can also replace the high cost of copper with the aluminum as a current collector for both anode and cathode side. So after we assembling the cell, so compare with the, with the lithium batteries, sodium battery also have a good cyclability and also have a much better safety. Uh, so now the current density, the, the energy density in, for sodium battery is be, is about between uh, 140 to 160 uh, watt hour per kilogram. So it still um, need to be increased in in the future. Um, there are already some some sodium battery products has been released. So CTL released their the first generation of sodium batteries three years ago with a, with an energy density of 160 watt hour per gram. Per kilogram. Um, uh, just one month ago, GC and Hana battery also have uh, uh, delivered their first bunch of sodium battery car um, and with a range of 251 kilo kilometer. Um, and Hana battery also released the, the 100 kilo uh, watt hour sodium battery storage power station. And recently, they also have a program on the 100 uh, mega, uh, mega watt hour uh, sodium storage station. So um like after uh, like after the, the um uh, some like uh, the it is it is expected that the the uh, the market demand for sodium batteries will be will increase um will increase a lot in the next few years so it's a very promising uh, technology uh for in the in energy storage uh, area uh, the field so how's 